Guys, we're in the design portion of this video, and when you first pick up the phone, you'll find that it's very, very light, and when you look at it, it's very, very thin. See that? Look at how thin that is. It's crazy thin. So, it's really, really light. Um, not sure how much it weighs, but um, when we go around, we see that it's nice, glassy screen. You can see the reflection of me. Got the carrier logo, front facing camera. I'm pretty sure it's a 1.9 megapixel camera. Then you've got your soft buttons down here, which you can see, and they usually glow up. Let's see. And then, now when we go to the back, we'll see that there's a Beats Audio logo. Yeah, this does have Beats Audio, and I will be taking, I will be covering that in the hardware section of this video. Then when we go down, you'll kind of see a fading in color. It gets lighter and lighter, and then you have the HTC logo right here, the camera, and the flash. Up top, we've got uh, the sleep-wake button. Then we've got, um, then we've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Then on the side we got the mi mini micro USB charging port. This is can also be used to dock it to a computer and put on files onto this phone. Then on the back we've got nothing but a microphone. And then on this side we've got our volume rocker. Now, if you saw this part right here in the design, um, right here you can see that there's a kind of an opening. If you put your finger in that and then pull back. The part, this part comes off and it reveals this blue or whatever red depending on the thing on um, red um, kind of texture depending on the phone you have right here you can you'll find that there's the sim card um, you just push it I'm not gonna to take it out I'm not gonna do so because I don't want to mess this up and so you can easily swap out sim cards to so put it back on you just slide it in like that um, Make sure it all lines up, push it firmly, and it's there. And P.S. That's that's another TWSS, or that's what she said. LOL. So anyways, now that we've covered the design um, portion of this video, let's move on to the hardware. Okay, guys, we just covered the uh, design portion of this review, and now we'll be taking a look at the hardware part of this review. Uh, if you're watching this, sorry for the blurriness. I really don't know what's going on with my camera. It's being kind of stupid, but let's just jump right in. I have to make do with what I have. So anyways, this once you'll notice, it's a pretty nice big screen. Um, it, that's because it has a 4.3 AMOLED display with Gorilla Glass 1. Um, this is um the new iPhone 5 is 4.0 inches, and now... I'll compare it to my um, iPod, and you can kind of see that it's pretty small, but it's barely bigger, the HTC One S. So anyways, let's just open it and get right to it. So the next part you will see is, if you flip it over, you'll find that it has an 8 megapixel camera right here with the flash, so that's pretty nice, and it's multi-touch, and the HTC One S it supports um it supports 4G um I don't think it supports LTE speeds. Tell me in the comments. Leave me below if I'm wrong. And um and then it supports 3G then 2G. So yeah, it's got all that. Then it's got a nice bright screen. Um and the hardware that kind of that's pretty much it for the hardware. So let's, now that we've gotten to the hardware, let's take a look at the software. Okay guys, we took a look at the hardware er, and the design. Now we're gonna take a look at the software and the UI. So when you first turn it on, you'll notice that it's nice and bright. I'll just turn down the um, brightness for the sake of this video. So as I unlock it, you'll notice you get um, much more customization than um, iOS. In iOS, you only have a simple number lock or word lock. So and then in now you can pull it down. You have the nice notifications, and um, if you're seeing these notifications um, right here, let's zoom in onto this. These are this is our an extension from an app. 
It's called Widgetzoid. Um, it's a really neat widget or really neat app that you should go definitely go ahead and take a look into. So, zoom back out and as if you're wondering what my wallpaper is, every HTC One S has a lava lamp wallpaper and it's a live wallpaper that changes colors which is really nice. So anyways, let's go ahead, go into settings and then personalize and then okay display I guess and then stay away brightness and then let's turn it down so when we go back and this is running 4.0 ice cream sandwich on the Nova Launcher Prime um, a Nova Launcher Prime. These are they're what is called as launchers. Um, I find Nova Launcher Prime and Apex to be the best launchers. I would certainly recommend them. Um, you get the free version and the paid version. I, I can tell you right now that I didn't pay a single cent for Nova Launcher Prime and I'll leave a link down below in the description so be sure to check that out. So, um, anyways, be sure, and I'll show you, and it'll be a link to getting Nova Launcher Prime for free. Once you, I mean, this is kind of off topic, but I might, um, show, tell you anyways. You need a file browser, so I recommend ES File Browser. And then you need to find, you need to put the app into a, a folder that you would, um, like a folder that you would be able to find it. I put it in the download folder and then I'd install it. As you can see, there's Fruit Ninja there. I also got that for free. So I would recommend putting it in the download folder, clicking on it, and installing it. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, this is running, like I said before, this is running, let's just show you, um, about, this is running, let's see. Um, software info. This is running 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich. So it doesn't have project butter on it, but it's pretty smooth. Smooth, sorry. <laughs> there is some lag, but it's not very noticeable. Um, at least not on camera. And HTC Sense. I honestly hate HTC Sense. Um, it doesn't really pack too many features in it, and um. I would honestly recommend the um, the TouchWiz, Samsung's TouchWiz, right over HTC Senses. And as you can see, I got Apex Launcher and a bunch of games and stuff. So this is a really nice, um, really has pretty good interface. Um, I would honestly, if you're getting this phone, I'd honestly recommend rooting it then installing custom ROMs which is pretty helpful and you can get like a stock ROM or a cooler ROM that, or if you don't know how to do that or you don't want to take the time I would recommend getting launchers and trying to make it look as stock as possible so it doesn't look stupid so anyways you can also get wallpapers and stuff like that so it's a really nice user interface HTC Sense it doesn't normally come it doesn't come stock with this right here this is something that I got, it's called Widgetsoid, as I said before. If you don't have that, then you would have to go into your settings menu to change settings. Kind of stinks, but unfortunately that's the way HTC wanted it to be. So anyways, this kind of, this wraps up the, um, the, the wraps up the software and user interface um, part of the review. Next I'll be taking a look at the camera and let's jump right into that okay guys now that we've taken a look at the design the hardware and the software let's go ahead and take a look at the camera now at first look the camera doesn't seem too crazy or whatever you've got your zoom in you've got your settings you've got your a auto flash you can turn that on turn that off auto and then you've got your um, effects menu then you can take a picture or a video then you can click over here and look at some photos see 
slide. And then look at it different ways. So, anyways, this is like I said before an 8 megapixel camera. So, it'll you'll be expecting some good video good uh, um video and picture quality. Um it is pretty good, but if you're look watching this video right now when I post it, it's um it's um it's I honestly recommend the Samsung Galaxy S3. So then here you've got some few modes. You can go to HDR, panorama, portrait, which is pretty nice. Then you can do some panorama, which I like. And then we can make a panorama. Or well, I didn't I'm not pretty sure how to do it. I will get back to you on that. Now we can go back to auto. Then um then right here we have the settings menu and this is feature packed. This is it. you can choose your camera, self timer, image resolution, video quality, Let's go back review duration, image adjustments, ISO or ISO, continue shooting, camera options, video options, camera interface, auto upload, and you can reset to default. It's pretty neat. It's pretty awesome. Um, the camera is really a great part of the phone, and it's a great um, it's a great incentive. Um, if you're buying a cam, if you're buying a phone and you want a great camera, this is really one you could look at. Well, another one is the Galaxy S3 or the Galaxy Note 2. I honestly wouldn't recommend that because it's too big for most people. And um and then and then um it's too expensive. So the iPhone 5 or the Galaxy S3 is a really um really good choice. Now um the on the um if you're probably watching this video and you're looking to get um this if you're looking to get this phone I would recommend it but anyways this isn't the part of the video that uh, this isn't that part of the video so this that was basically the camera portion of this video and as you can see my battery's running low so I better get this video done quick so anyways guys this is the camera par portion of the review and next up we'll talk next and lastly we'll talk about if this is worth your hard earned money Okay guys, this is we're almost close to wrapping up this video, but before we do, let's take let's talk about I'll get let's talk about what this what this phone is worth and whether it's worth your hard-earned money. Uh, as you can see, um, I did buy a case for this. It's a nice it's by J it's called J case. The case is spelled with a K. And I'll put it on. It's not too like flashy or anything. It's a simple case right like that and it's pretty good um one thing i forgot to mention though is this does come with beats this phone does come with beats audio so that's a pretty good incentive for buying if you're a big music listener but then one thing one more thing that you should keep in mind is that if you root your device you can easily you can easily install beats audio drivers from the google play store and um, that'll basically be the same thing as having Beats Audio. So you can have Beats Audio on other phones too that don't come with Beats Audio. So anyways, let's talk about if this is worth your heart.